Mm. Should I be scared of the thumbnail? Oh yeah. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> this is an amazing ingredient. It elevates any dish to a whole new level. To put it in simple words, if you have a regular steak and you add this to it, congratulations. You just made steak on crack. That is how powerful this is. And we're talking about MSG, also known as monosodium glutamate. It is found in many different things naturally. And just a few videos back, I dry aged with it and it was a complete outer body experience. I'm telling you, this thing is crazy good. But one thing I believe I overdid it was to add too much. That's why my cheeks kept squeezing. I'll tell you one thing, it was weird and great at the same time. But today my goal is to do something different. And that is to maximize MSG to its best potential. And of course, the first thing we're gonna start off is steak. For that today, I chose these four beautiful filet mignons. As you can see, they are some thick boys. At the same time, if possible, whenever you're choosing it, make sure it has a great marbling just like this. This is very unusual for filet mignon. But whenever you get good finds like this, make sure you take it. So here's the plan. As you can see, these two steaks on the left has less marbling than the ones on the right. So my thought is if I put MSG to those two sticks and make them better, ooh, that's a whole new level right there. So I went ahead and transferred them to a cooling rack and of course started seasoning them with MSG. Now just like salt, you don't want to overdo it. You want to sprinkle a good amount to make sure every single surface is perfectly coated. The interesting thing is that MSG immediately starts dissolving and penetrating the meat. That is exactly what we're looking for. The more penetration, the better. As always, make sure to season both sides. For the other two steak, I'm only adding salt and nothing else. I am a huge fan of something called dry brine. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know exactly what it is. It's basically the best way to treat a steak before cooking it. Now to make sure that the MSG and the salt will penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat, I'm gonna allow them to dry brine in my refrigerator overnight. And that's perfect because it's gonna allow time for us to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. And I mean, take a look at this. That is what I'm talking about. And to make it, it's super easy and here's how. I first started by cooking a little bit of bacon. As always, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Once they were fully cooked, I removed them and using the same exact pan, I threw in a little bit of freeze dried garlic and onions, warmed them up and throw in heavy cream followed by a little bit of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then you want to mix everything well to make sure everything is perfectly combined. But you do not want to bring it to a boil. That is how easy it is to make the sauce. And let me tell you something, this is already delicious delicious by itself. However, we're gonna need the most important ingredient. And we're talking about potatoes. I personally like to peel them first. And if you have gold potatoes like this, these are the one I recommend. To make sure that they do not oxidize, throw them in water. Now to slice them, we wanna get it as thin as possible. And nothing will beat a mandolin. It is easy to use, but at the same time, it can be quite dangerous. The last thing we want is to hurt ourselves. So if you have a mandolin, you should definitely use the guard for it. We don't wanna have any accidents. And having a guard this is the only way to ensure it will not happen. And the best part is that you can go as fast as you can. As you can see, all of these took no time at all. That's great because now it's time to assemble. Using the same exact pan, I started by adding a layer of potatoes. Once that was done, I threw in the bacon followed by a good amount of cheese. Now you want to be generous with cheese, but at the same time, you don't want to overdo it. For me, this amount was good enough. Once that was done, the only thing left to do is to repeat the process as many times as needed until you run out of potatoes. Because the last thing you gotta add is your sauce and make sure you add all of it. The only thing you gotta really keep in mind is that there's a high chance of this overfloating. So make sure you use a tray on the bottom. At the same time, using a little bit of aluminum foil will ensure that the potatoes will fully cook. The next thing to do is to add it to your oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once that's done, take the aluminum part out and add a good amount of cheese. Because once you're done, the only thing left to do is to put it back in your oven in the broiler setting and let that cheese melt. You're looking for that wonderful golden brown color. Because once that have been done, the only thing left to do is to remove it, add a little bit of chives and your scalloped potatoes are done. That is how easy it is to make it. And do I have to tell you that this is delicious? Well, I hope it is speaking for itself. 
If we are really going to make an extreme MSG steak experiment, we got to do something else. And that is to jazz up our basting butter. I really want to see how different this is going to be. So as you can see, I had two fully melted stick of butter. One of them, I'm going to be adding a good amount of MSG. And the other one, I'm not. This way, hopefully it will make this steak even better. And we will definitely let you know how different it is. But now going back to our steaks. As you can see, after 24 hours, this is what they look like. There is no longer any sign of MSG or salt. It is exactly what we're looking for because everything penetrated nicely and deeply into the meat. The red color is a sign that the MSG worked just as good as salt. Now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and season them. For that, I throw in freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As always, make sure you season both sides including the edges. To cook them, here's the plan. The first thing I'm going to be doing is putting a nice wonderful sear. As that is happening, I'll be basting them. Keeping it completely separated, the MSG steak versus the other. One will use regular butter and the other one the MSG butter. Once I've gotten a sear that I'm happy with, it's time to cook them in indirect heat. But now that you know exactly what's about to happen, I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. Are you ready, Mama? Yeah, Google, those steaks look beautiful, but what is that? They, uh, Mama, you're always interested on the side dish, Mama. Yes, I love side dishes, and that <laughs> thing is calling my name. It's like screaming. This is scallops potatoes. <sighs> give me some. <laughs> give me you know, some. Hold on, you don't want to try steaks first? Uh, we're going to try steak, but give me some of that. You want some scallops? Okay, Mama, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, the smell that is coming out of these potatoes oh my God. are great. I know you're going to want more, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a second one. You yes. know what? Huh? Oh, <laughs> this side dish right here is perfect for oh, any steak combination. You okay, Mama? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm in paradise right now. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. That is amazing. Wow. It is so tender. So tender. Super flavorful. Mm, what kind of cheese you put on here? Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese? Swiss cheese, it yes. It does not taste like Swiss cheese. No, no. it's not mozzarella because a lot of people mozzarella. Mm -hmm. and, but I'll be honest with you, the only reason I didn't put mozzarella is because I ran out of it. If you never had this before, this is like a lasagna made out of potatoes. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. I but was about to lick my knife. <laughs> That's how good it is. Don't do that. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. So, as you can see, we have two beautiful filet mignons, mm -hmm. but we actually have an experiment today. Nothing goes better than potatoes and filet mignon. Like, I, mean, I want you to give me your honest opinion. They should be a little bit different from each other, but at the same time, I don't know. We'll start one? right here first. This one? Yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Mercy. Oh, man. It is. The, that's the wonderful thing about filet mignon. It is just so tender. You know what I mean? It is a tender steak, everybody. It, it has to put a smile on your face. Are you ready, Mama? It smells almost as good as the... <laughs> oh, you like this smell? Mama really enjoy the potatoes. It's All right, nice. steak time. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mm. That's one of those mm. that you have to just close your eyes. Look at you, <laughs> you told me to shut up. That's exactly what I was gonna say. You have to close your eyes and enjoy that Just flavor. Enjoy it. You don't need teeth to chew a filet mignon, everybody. And for whatever reason, if people do not like filet mignon, 
They're crazy. They're wrong. Filet mignon is amazing. The smoky flavor that you got on this? Yes. <laughs> charcoal -y flavor. Oh, look at Mama. Mama enjoying the charcoal, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? That was a phenomenal steak. Now let's jump into the second no, one. You no, ready, no, Mama? No. Give, me, give me some more of that. Oh, Mama, you <laughs> All right. I know you're enjoying mm. it. Are you ready for that? That was to clean your palate? That's mm. what you're trying to do? Yeah. Huh? I see that. <laughs> Any type of excuse is good for Mama. Okay. I'm excited for this one, Mama. You ready? Let's try this one right here. Just a standard, perfectly medium rare, the way we like it. You like a medium rare, right, Mama? Yeah. That's how we like our steaks. Let me know if there's any difference. Right. Second one. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> wow. There's no way that that is the same as this. <laughs> it's like different steaks. It's like a different steak. <laughs> It is like a completely different steak. I'm telling you right now. It's like it has more flavor. Yes. Like all the little flavors that you get on it are kicked up a little notch. Just like multiply it, right? Yeah. That, that's so pretty much what it is. The beefiness of it is a little bit extra beefy. Right. The saltiness is a little bit extra saltiness. The It just enhances the, the umaminess of the steak. Yes, it's mama. a little bit extra umami here. I agree a hundred percent. It just enhances the overall experience with the steak. It gives a lot more flavor. Are you ready to find out what this is, Momo? It's almost like this was a steak kind of washed out flavor. Yes. And that one brought out more of the I, steak flavor. I agree a hundred percent. It's like something happened with this one bad, which nothing happened, and this one here just like got waking up or something if you guys watch dragon ball mm. this is regular goku this is super saiyan goku yeah there you go super saiyan <laughs> i know what super saiyan is <laughs> msg from uncle roger huh uncle roger approve it uncle roger approve it hold on <laughs> oh leg up leave it <laughs> uncle roger would approve it <laughs> as you guys can see we enjoy uncle roger shout out to you brother if you're watching this video Anyway, guys, I definitely recommend using a little bit of MSG. It does wonders to your steak. I not only did it with the steak, but I also put it on the butter, which I was basting with. Mm. It just gives an amazing, incredible umami flavor. It makes your steak taste better. It does make it taste better. Mm. Guarantee. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.